So what I'd like to do is show you how to cut an onion without crying. You, what you don't want to do is cut the end off that has got the sort of rooty bits at the end. This is where the, the sprout was. So it's the same here with the legs. That's your, that's your root end. And this is the sort of sprouty top end. And with the garlic, there's your rooty end and there's your sprouty top end. With onions, if you cut this end, then the juices that are strong ooze out of this end and that's what makes you cry. So you don't cut that till the last minute. So we just take the little top bit off here with a nice sharp knife. And then you can get rid of all the papery bits around the edge. With a red onion, it's a little bit more difficult to see um, what, what's the outer coat. But with white onions, you normally have a dull outer coat and then a whiter, shinier inner coat. And I guess if you're looking carefully, you can see that on the red onion too. So you peel all of that back and you could even hold on to it there if you need to. I'm going to sit it on its base to start with and cut across as if it, you know, using the bridge method, cut across down into the onion, but don't cut through the base. If you get that far, give it a little rock and then stop. See, if I hold this side, that's not going to drop off. And then across the other way, like a hot cross bun, but right down through the onion. So it's opened out, and we can now hold on to this end, turn it on its side, and start cutting it into slices. So you don't need to cut it any more than that once it's cut like that. That's, that's done, and you're not having to weep further as you try and cut it into little slices. Once you've got to this point, it's hard to hold on to it, so you put it down flat and cut into it at an angle. And you just keep going round you like that till you get to your nubby end, and then turn it, put it on this base, this flat bit here that you've just sliced, and go down through these edges there. And that's the bit that you discard. Then if that bit's a little bit too big, you can cut it up again.